Vahila and Pratetiana separate Vahila 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 Mila and Mahila Pratetinos. I'm trying to give you insights into several reasons why so many folks in church, you know, refuse to accept the anointing of the man of God. How, why some folks don't receive miracles from their man of God is because they pay more attention to the negativity of the man of God or the things that people say wrongly concerning their pastor. They feed a lot more from the haters of their pastors than what the pastor says from the pulpit. So the problem begins with when we begin to listen more to those who are against the man of God than those who are for the man of God. Naturally, people are drawn to negativity. People are drawn to gossip. People are drawn to offense. People are drawn to the past of individuals. You see, because human beings are so gullible to, to uh, uh, flaws, to mystics and, and, and whatever. You know, sometimes, why do you want to hold people to their past? One pastor came to me just two days ago and he was saying to me, he said, Pastor John, there's this person in my church that walked away. And when he walked away, he began to say things concerning me. And most of my members left me. Pastor John, why would I, I labored for these people. I prayed for them. I did this for them. But they left me because of what was said about me. I told him, I said, you haven't even started. That you still have people in your church. It's God's blessings. That your members, all of them there, they are looking for your downfall. As, as I told you, majority of people you pastor will always want to look for your done for. But I told him that look, look deep down in your church, you'll find the Peters that will never let you go. You'll find the Pauls. Are you hearing me? You'll find the looks, the look, the Matthew. Those that will stand by you regardless of whatever it is. Such people cover them up. Such people invest in them. Such people hold them strongly. But you know those that walked away, even though they come back, pretend as though you love them. But that love is not real. Don't invest much on them because the same way they walked away is the same way they'll come back. The same way they came back is the same way they'll go, go again. So the Bible says that we got to learn to love people not because they deserve to be loved but because we are lovers. Love reigns in our hearts. Hallelujah. Love is not something that we give because we chose to give it. It is something we give because we can't help it. We are on the overflowing love of God. Hallelujah. So the love of God flows through us. We are channels of love. So we can't help it but to love. Are you hearing me, sons of God? You know why? Because the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts. The Bible says, for hope, make it not a shame. For hope, make it not a shame. For the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts. So regardless of what they've done against you, I said, Pastor, show love. Stand on love. Forgive them. Pray good for them. But anyone that decides to say over his or her dead body, your church will not succeed. Then go on the prayer of vengeance. Say, oh God, for that one has said over his or her dead body, I will not succeed. Every work that he's doing against us must triple against him. Don't fight anybody. Don't, don't, don't go against anybody. But when they come against you, give them back what they're doing against you. Because if somebody can calculate to oppress you, to wound you, to afflict you. It means he knows what he's doing. So, oh God, the reward of the wicked is that which he has sown. You hear me, sons of God? Oh, scriptures, the Bible says, whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. 
You know, I took the, the pastor said, my encouragement to you right now is you got to go home. Start afresh. Learn from what you have seen. Every time our ministry goes through turbulence, I learn something greater. I become better. I become wiser. And I become stronger. Uh, you know what? Thank God for all the ups and downs that they project against our ministry. Remember, I am not up, I am not down. I am seated in the heavenly places. When we speak of heavenly dimensions, we're not talking about up. Heaven is not up, brother. Neither is heaven down. Are you hearing me? Sons of God, we are in a dimension of life far superior than up and down. So, so for every projection of darkness against our ministry, it becomes a pointer to another level. It becomes a pointer to another wisdom. It, it, it's, it's an increase to a next level that God is about to release on our church. Can I hear amen to that? Put the intensive frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality.